Have you ever sent a message to somebody you wish you could take back? Or maybe a message that went to the wrong person? Contains sensitive information? I'm sure we've all done it at some point. Maybe you sent an email you kind of regret or you weren't ready to send. You didn't mean to send it. Um, and don't you wish there was a way that you could take it back? Well, in Microsoft Outlook, you do have that function. And that's what we're going to cover today. This is called recalling a message in using Outlook. Now, before we jump into this, you should know that this will only work as long as both you and all the recipients are a member of the same Exchange or Office 365 organization. Um, if you have a mix and match, like let's say you sent it to 100 people and a 10 of them are outside contacts, it'll still work for the other 90, but for the outside 10, it won't. Assuming the original message hasn't been read or marked as read, maybe through some kind of Outlook rule, the original message will be deleted from that person's mailbox and the recipient will be informed that you, the sender, deleted the message from his or her mailbox. However, it won't reveal what it said. They will just get an email notification saying so-and-so has um, recalled the message. Um, now I have tested this um, both in an Office 365 environment and using an outside email account. It does work and for outside emails they they won't be deleted if you send it to like an outside source however they will receive a message saying I want to recall this message. So what I've gone here under my sent items is I sent this test message called super important memo and unfortunately I sent this out but I wasn't ready to send it. So in order to recall a message Here's the process involved. You go to you go to the message that you in your sent box that you had sent. Double click it to open it up, and it, it'll be under the Move section here. So make sure that you have Outlook your Outlook window fully expanded because sometimes the options will disappear. So if we expand this out a little bit, we'll see more options appear, and we'll see Move. And if we continue to expand, we'll see Actions. So if we click on Actions, we'll go Recall this message. Now, since I've sent this message to myself and I have read the message, you can see here at the top, it will say some recipients may have already read this message. So you'll be prompted with two options. You can either delete the unread copies of this message from your recipient's mailboxes, or you can delete the unread copies and replace it with a different message. If the, if the recipient has read the message, it won't delete it, but will still send the replacement message. And Finally, you have this checkbox here that says, tell me if recall succeeds or fails for each recipient. Now, you might want to take this with a grain of salt because you may have sent this to a lot of people. Um, a couple of different scenarios may be, let's say you sent it to 100 people in your company and you want to you want to get a list of every single person who read the email. And so you can pull those people in or talk to them privately about that message. On, on the flip side, you will also get notifications for all of these people. So if you sent this to 100, 500, 1,000 people, do you want to get 1,000 notifications that it was completed or not completed? That's up to you. So use this with caution and know that um, depending on the situation, you may or may not want this checkbox selected. So, but for this case, <clears throat> For this case, we're going to select delete unread copies and replace with new. Since the recipient is technically myself, because I only have one mailbox in this environment, um, we're gonna, it's not going to get deleted, but we will be able to replace it with a new message and we will get an email notification saying whether or not it succeeded. So we'll go ahead, we'll hit OK here. And it'll open up, uh, this, it'll open up the previously sent email and fill out those people you sent it to and then we can redact it saying this is the corrected memo thank you and we'll go ahead and we'll hit send and we'll close out of this and you can see here it sent it and now let's go to the inbox because technically this um, test email is the same inbox so we'll see here, we got the recall failure notification. Your message sent to this person cannot be recalled because if you see down here, this was previously already marked as read by me. So it can't be recalled. 
and here is the corrected memo. It's that easy. Um, in this situation, if know that your recipients will receive notifications whether or not the email gets deleted. So if it gets deleted, they'll just get an email notification saying your message has been recalled. And if they it has been marked as read and it can't be deleted, they'll receive an and they'll still receive an email saying that you would like to recall the message. It'll notify them of that either way. Um, and that's kind of it. It's rather straightforward. Uh, there are a couple of different scenarios that Microsoft has mapped out on their Office 365 knowledge base, so I will put a link, to, link below in the description for that if you wish to check it out. And if there's something else you'd like me to cover, or if you have ideas for other videos, please let me know, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.